Default judgment. If the defendant does not respond in a timely manner, the plaintiff may request an entry of default and default judgment. In some cases, proof and evidence of plaintiff's damages will need to be presented to the court in a default prove-up hearing before default judgment is entered against the defendant. Motion to set aside default. California Code of Civil Procedure Section 473B specifies the grounds for relief from default judgment. These grounds include mistake, inadvertence, surprise, or neglect. This motion must be filed within six months from the date of the default. To be excusable, the neglect must be an act or omission of a reasonably prudent person under the circumstances, which may include one, an illness that prevents the party from responding or appearing in court. Two, failure to respond due to relying on an attorney to do so. Or three, failure to appear at trial due to relying on misinformation from the court. The key determination for the court is whether it is reasonable under the circumstances to relieve the requesting party from the judgment. In federal court, the grounds to set aside a default judgment are pursuant to Rule 60 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. The court considers three factors when deciding whether there exists good cause to set aside a default. One, whether the defendant's culpable conduct led to the default. Two, whether the defendant has a meritorious defense. And three, whether setting aside default would prejudice the plaintiff. 